Hi, my name is Noel Simon and those are my details down there uh, for any feedback which I'd be grateful for. I've been teaching and tutoring chemistry for near on 50 years now um, and I want to talk today about oxidation and reduction which is a very important concept coalesced into the one word redox. Now at GCSE you learn about, about oxidation reduction using the word oil rig, where oxidation is loss of electrons, so atoms or, electron, or ions become more positive. Uh, reduction is gain of electrons, so atoms or ions become less positive or more negative. Uh, it's really the direction you're moving in. You also have to learn how to balance equations and again at GCSE you'll do this by uh, making sure you have the same number of atoms of each element on either side of an equation. So the equation is balanced uh, and it's called an equation because they are supposed to be equal as in maths. In fact when I was a teach many several years ago uh, equations were written with an equal sign then they changed to the arrow. At A level, you combine the two ideas uh, and you need to know about oxidation numbers or redox numbers. Now, the books give you ways in which you do this, several rules, but I've devised what I think is a simpler method. I hope you'll agree. What I do is to use two things. One is uh, the periodic table which will always be given and I've got part of it reproduced here what I need uh, for today's uh, lesson and the other thing is the idea of electronegativity uh, which is very simply the power of an, uh, an atom of an any element to attract electrons to itself so the most electronegative element by far in some cases, is fluorine. It's also known as the Tyrannosaurus rex of the periodic table, killed quite a few chemists before they isolated it. Fluorine always, fluorine atoms always grab one electron from wherever they can and become one minus. So you can be sure that its oxidation number is minus one. Uh, oxidation numbers have to be written with the sign and then the number. At the opposite end, di uh, diagonally across, is cesium, which is the least electronegative, or also called the more, most electropositive. Uh, so my approach to this is to take fluorine always fixed as minus one, group one metals and hydrogen always fixed at plus one, Group 2 metals always fixed at plus 2. If you don't have fluorine, the chances are you won't, you will probably have oxygen. In that case, oxygen is taken as minus 2. Others will have to count out to yield to whatever is there as being fixed. Now, let's take some examples to clarify this. I'll start with a very familiar one, HCl. H is there as plus one, as we know. Let's say we don't know chlorine, call it plus X. This has to be plus and it has to be X. And it's a molecule, so it's going to be zero. If you solve that equation, X will be minus one. So chlorine has to be minus one, which you already know from before. Next, here's another molecule, ClO2. This time there's oxygen, which is semi-fixed at minus two. Two options will be minus four. Chlorine we call X, and the whole thing is uncharged, so it's equal to zero. X must be plus four. So uh, the oxidation number of chlorine in this molecule is plus four. Now, another one even more challenging We've got hydrogen, which is fixed at plus one, three options fixed at minus two each, totaling minus six. 
chlorine at plus x. Equation equals zero, x works out at plus five. Now let's take some other elements, this time by taking carbon, which I've got there, CH4. Hydrogen is plus one, four hydrogens will be plus four. So carbon here is X will be minus four. Next, another famili familiar example, CO2. Oxygen, this time at minus two times two, two of them, minus four, X minus four is zero, X carbon must be plus four. Now, what might look a bit odd, um, two hydrogens in this, this is methanol, if you want the name, two hydrogens plus one each, oxygen minus two, carbon works out at zero. Now, might seem odd, but you can think of uh, oxidation reduction, I saw it very well described, I thought, in a book many years ago, as a kind of bookkeeping, uh, but instead of money, where you say the money's gone from here, it must have gone somewhere, you're dealing with electrons. So you say the negative charge has gone, has gone from somewhere. In this case, it moved, it's moved away from the hydrogen, but then it's moved away from the carbon as well towards the oxygen. Next, a molecule here. Um, sodium there at plus two, three oxygens at minus six, two sulfurs, that'll be two X. Work out the equation, X must be plus two. Now an iron. Um, this has chromium here, which is a transition metal, a deep block metal. And uh, so it could have many different oxidation states. Uh, seven oxygens is minus 14. And the whole thing is not zero this time, it's minus two. Work it out. X must be plus six. Now a couple of odd ones. First, H2O2. Now this time oxygen is really up against it. It's against, uh, it's uh, competing with something that's fixed, hydrogen. Two hydrogens will be plus two. Two X for the oxygens equals zero for the molecule, hydrogen peroxide. So X must be minus one. And the last one I've got here, OF2, oxygen is up against the only element that's more electronegative than itself, fluorine. So fluorine will be minus two, X has to be plus two. Now, let's just see how that might work in an actual exam question. So, um, if, the, if we take this bit down here, C, in the manufacture of molybdenum metal and so, uh, and so on, you have this equation. You can read the question first. And what you're asked to do is, using oxidation numbers, show what's been oxidized and what's been reduced in this reaction. Now, I've got it written here. That's the equation up there. And you can see the oxygen is, uh, is semi-fixed. There's three of them there. Hydrogen is, of course, fixed. So molybdenum, the oxidation number of the molybdenum is going to be plus six and is going to molybdenum metal, so to zero. It's gaining electrons, it's being reduced. Meanwhile, the hydrogen, that's the element there, it's zero and is going to plus one times two, of course, it's gaining, uh, it's uh, losing electrons, I beg pardon, and has to be six electrons, has to three, that'll be minus six. So the hydrogen is oxidized from zero to plus one, remember, and the molybdenum is reduced from plus six to zero. Well, I hope that's been of use to you, and uh, do let me know if you have any comments. I'd be uh, interested in them, regardless of whether they're positive or not. Thank you.